Hey guys, it's Zach with Blade HQ, and we're here at uh, SHOT Show 2018. I'm at the Kershaw booth, and I'm here with Jim. How are you doing today, Jim? Doing good. Good, yeah. good man. Uh, and he's got some awesome stuff to show us. So, what's on the table? Okay. So, this year, we're gonna, we'll start with kind of the elephant in the room. Seven years ago, we released a knife called the 777. And, you know, I think we all kind of went, you know, that'll, it'll be cool for a year. You know, it'll be like anything else. It'll sort of fade away. And for some reason, people keep asking about this knife. And so, this year, it's been seven years, so we're doing a bit of a celebration of the 777. So, um, a couple of years ago, we released a knife called the Natrix. Um, it's been a very popular model for us. Um, and so we're doing a couple different variants this year. Um, we're starting with an all black tuxedo model. You know, it's easy, all black, beautiful, um, very sleek. Um, we're doing a version with a gray PVD blade and a G10 handle with carbon fiber overlay. Uh, real classy look, really nice. Again, kind of unique. We're doing a bunch of models. We really wanted them all to be kind of unique and kind of and make sure they're all relevant. Um, next up, we have a big full-size one. This is the, uh, the Natrix XL. So we have an OD green G10 handle, a black oxide blade, again, still with subframe lock, deep carry clip. Um, and finally, last but not least, we have a copper variant. So this is called the Natrix XS. It's actually a small version. So even compared to the original Natrix, it's kind of the baby brother. We think this would be really popular. It's comfortable size. It's a solid copper handle, but we've actually weight relieved the inside of the handle so much that it's really quite comfortable to hold. Yeah, that, when we were looking at these earlier, I really liked the way this thing felt. And it, the size as well for me, is it's right in my wheelhouse. Now, being a solid copper handle, what does that mean for, what, what is this gonna end up looking like? That's what I'm interested to know. So, we know that copper has been a popular thing amongst our customers. And so, the beauty of it is this is a knife that's really meant to get better with age. So it's gonna patina, uh, it's gonna get that darker look. You can see my, I've got an Olight flashlight here and I've got a Hinderer investigator pen and both of these in copper. And they just get a really nice appearance and patina over time. The other really important thing about this knife is that it has a, it has a D2 blade. So we've upgraded the blade steel, um, give you a little more for that knife as well. So finally, in this series, we have a new USA made uh, variant. This one is actually called the Bare Knuckle. So this fits in with that kind of boxing theme along with, our, if you guys know the, the Knockout, the 1870. Um, it's a USA made subframe lock, just like the 1870. We've got a steel subframe lock, um, deep carry pocket clip, this one actually has KVT ball bearing action. Um, the other big thing about this series, these all feature KVT ball bearing action, just like the original 777. So the bare knuckle, um, the other big thing we did with this is we slimmed it out. It's a 3.5 inch blade, but we've narrowed it from top to bottom. And so it's very sleek, it's, there's no fat on it. Um, it really is, it's that bare knuckle boxer. It's that, it's that slim, tough, sinewy kind of knife. And at an MSRP of $110, we think this is going to do really well for everybody. And that's all USA made too, right? This is all USA made. Yeah, which is great. Another, another great heralding to the, the bare knuckle boxing days. <laughs> <laughs> now that's awesome. Yeah. There's some really great stuff in that line. Yes. Um, and one thing that I like about what you have going here specifically is just there really is something for everyone, right? Or something exactly. for every occasion or even, you know, different types of pants or anything. So yeah. this is beautiful. Great, great stuff here. Okay. So uh, what else we what else we got here? Okay. So we have uh, a couple new pieces with our collaborators. So this is a new piece with Dmitry Sinkevich, our designer from Belarus. So this is uh, called the Concierge. Uh, it's based on one of his custom models, um, and it has really nice 3D contoured G10 handles. Um, features a feature that Dmitry came up with, which was having this recessed pocket clip. So. You'll see that it's got some big openings in the handle with deep chamfers on the edges. It's to make, and this big hole underneath the tip of the clip. So it makes it so that clip still functions really nicely. It fits in your pocket, clips in really well, but it's subsurface. So it doesn't sit up in your hand when you're holding it. It's very comfortable, very nice working knife. Um, and it has KVT ball bearing action, so it's super smooth. And then something else with that clip is, I noticed that it, it goes in a little bit stiff, 
Yeah. Um, but I think that's a good thing because it, it really locks it in because it doesn't, you're not fighting it, but it has yeah. is, is got that kind of stiff, nice purchase to it. That's got so, good retention. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I think that's a really neat design. So next we have a, well actually let's, let's do the next one from Dimitri. So this is another really cool knife. This is called the Atmos. And this is the, uh, this is another design that Dimitri recently introduced. Uh, it's got G10 scales with carbon fiber overlay. Um, cool custom hardware, satin finish blade, KVT ball bearing action, this really smooth, opens really nicely. Um, we have a deep carry pocket clip that's reversible, cool backspacer, and again, just another nice, sleek, easy to carry piece. Really yeah. beautiful. I like this one, and something else that really stuck out to me with this one is just, it's got a lot of really great jimping to it, which I think is awesome, you know? Just a lot to get a purchase on there and really be able to use the knife. This is something I look for a lot in my own knives, because when I use a knife, it's, I'm using it as a tool of some sort. <laughs> Whether I'm using it right or wrong. Right. Um, so I, I like that. That's something I really like about and that design. And it's in the right places. It's in where exactly. your thumb will go. Exactly. Right where the palm's going to hit. Yep. Yeah. That's great. Um, so next up, we have a cool new piece from Rick Hinderer. So for those of you in the know, this will be based on his Maximus model. And so we called this the Decimus. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Going with that Roman gladiator theme. Um, it's a beautiful dagger style grind. It's gonna have a, it's gonna have a hinderer texture on it, but it's gonna be an injection molded um, glass filled nylon on the handle scales. Um, steel steel frame lock underneath. A hinderer style clip. And this is actually a speed safe knife, so opens real nicely, real comfortable. It has that cool bayonet grind on it as well. So yeah, because the original had the dagger grind, right? It did. Yeah, yeah, which I think is really neat. But for me personally, I kind of like this because I, I feel a little bit safer with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, particularly with with the speed safe, where you really have to give it a little. Where you bit have of to give it that little bit of love. Up, exactly. So. Yep. But a really nice new piece from Rick Hinderer. Awesome. Um, then we're continuing our, conti our collaboration with Jens Anso. This is a new piece from Jens. Um, so this is called the Method. Uh, we have G10 handles with some cool machining, gives you a little bit of a, a good grip to it. We have a uh, single position pocket clip, KVT ball bearing action on this one, so it's super smooth, opens real fast. Um, it really has that kind of flowing feel of a lot of Yen's new designs. Yeah, it does. Um, nice, light, comfortable, easy to carry piece. Great. Now and this then, is one that I'm really interested in just because it's got some neat, it's got a neat little feature to it, right? Yeah. 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 So this is, this is a piece uh, by RJ Martin. Uh, it's called the fly through and <coughs> it has his STP pivot. So his see through pivot as we call it. So you might be able to see it on the camera here, but the pivot actually has a hole drilled right through the handle. It's a cool two piece assembly. And because obviously it's got the hole in it, you can't put a normal Torx wrench in it. And so, because of that, we have a new tool that we're offering as well at a reasonable price. So this is an all steel tool. It's got six pins that fit into the holes on the handle. You've got one for each side and you just turn that to adjust your pivot. Um, so this piece has KVT ball bearing washers. Um, really slick, comfortable action. Deep carry reversible pocket clip and an all black finish for a real clean, again, I say that tuxedo look. Yeah, totally. Um, and then the tool, when the tool goes back together, it's actually magnetic, right? The way that it locks back together. It is, yep, so yeah, there's a magnet really in the neat. middle of it. Um, and then we have holes for the pins, so it just nicely snaps awesome. together. I love it. Real comfortable. The other yeah. thing about this tool is that if you need more leverage, we've drilled holes in it, so you could slide an Allen wrench, um, a screwdriver, whatever cool. you want through that. To get a little and more. Get a, and get a nice T handle on it for cool. breaking things free. That's awesome. Well, it looks like there's some really great collaborations. And I know we also got, you also got some kind of just good, yep. run of the mill, awesome EDC blades as well, right? Yep, exactly. So these three, um, these are new EDC pieces that are all speed safe. Um, we have the Outright here with a cool new blue PVD finish. Has a uh, Persian style blade, G10 overlay, speed safe opening, and, uh, and a frame lock construction. We have the fringe, which is gray PVD with a, with a carbon fiber inlay, real carbon fiber. Um, again, frame lock construction, nice kind of stair-stepping contouring on the handles. And we have the duo jet, which again has kind of a, 
it's, it's kind of a drop point, I'd call this one. A little, little less of a, uh, little less up curve, up yeah. swept like the Outright. But the Duo Jet has dual carbon fiber inlays, <coughs> speed safe action, deep carry single position pocket clip, and again, a nice frame lock construction with a real attractive feel to it. Great. And then finally, out of that EDC category, we have kind of a big bruiser here. This one's called the Fault Line. So, big comfortable knife, um, injection molded handles with a rubber inlay. It's not something we do a lot of anymore, but it's really comfortable, really grippy, actually very light. Yeah, that was something that I was surprised about with this was how light it did feel. Yeah. yeah for, for how beefy it is, it's actually yep. quite light. Yeah. Uh, lots of jimping on it. Um, also has this jimping on the front that really is, I'd say more for looks, but it can also give you a chance to get, get your finger up there if you want to for sure. If you want to work with it like this. For sure. Um, and again, this one actually is on KVT ball bearing washers. So awesome. it opens nice and smooth. Great. Now, the other thing that we have on the table uh, is not brand new from you guys, nope. but I'm a sucker for a good story and I'm also a sucker for a good motorcycle story. <laughs> so just real quick, can you tell us a little bit about what this is? Yep. This is called the Camp 10 Tan. And so this is the uh, Camp 10 model, which has always been kind of a gray and black color. And so this year I went on a, uh, a multi-day motorcycle trip on riding dual sports with some buddies. And so we're riding a bunch of dusty trails um, back in the, in the hills in Oregon. And I had a Camp 10 strapped to the back of the bike. And so after riding all those dusty trails, that black rubber handle on it had turned tan from all the dirt. And I started looking at it and we went, yo, oh, go, you know what? That'd be a great color. <laughs> and so we ended up deciding we're gonna do one in FDE um, with a black blade, with, with uh, black bolsters and butt and a uh, FDE handle and sheath. And so it kind of a different, kind of an update for this model, refreshes awesome. it a little bit. I think makes it kind of new and a little more exciting again. Great, I think I'm gonna have to get one for trail riding. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, well, we asked uh, some of our people who follow us on social media uh, if they had any questions for you guys. And they specifically, there was a lot of questions about the 777. Yeah. I think we've already answered that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're good there, I think. I think I think there's some really neat stuff here, uh, heralding kind of back to those, that design and, and a little bit of an anniversary yeah. deal. So I'm excited about that. And then something else we're asking everybody here at SHOT Show is, what do you got in your pockets today? So today I actually have our, our new bare knuckle. Awesome. In my pocket, along with my, uh, with my Olight S-Mini in copper and my Hinder Investigator pen. Yep, and those did come out well. of his pocket. When we when we started talking, getting ready to talk about the copper, he pulled them right out of the pocket, and I was like, that is awesome. Those are great pieces. That's my, that's my, that's so. my little setup for today. Wonderful, awesome. Well, thanks so much for having us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, and uh, that's all we've got from Kershaw today, guys, but that's not all Blade HQ has for you. Make sure to check out our 2018 SHOT Show playlist uh, to find out what all the latest and greatest is with the coming year. So, thanks.